Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Kook here, a.k.a. The Lonely Achievement God. And we're doing something a little different today. Instead of our normal achievement content, we're going to do a little look at uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Something a little less stressful to just mellow out together. Um, as I've already done with Story of Seasons and Link's Awakening DX, I'm going to do uh, just a, a little episode here playing and showing off the beginning of Luigi's Mansion. And I want to see what you guys... Uh, think about it. If I'm entertaining enough to do more episodes, if you never want to hear my voice again, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna. I'm also doing something a little different with this. I've recorded the footage already, and I'm just gonna chat with you over top of it as we uh, go through the game here. Toad drives like a maniac. I don't think he should be allowed on the road. Um, but I, I'm talking over the footage, and I'm just gonna explain what. I, I did while I was playing through, and I wonder uh, if you guys could let me know whether you prefer this method or uh, the other method where I was talking while playing. Because um, I'd be more than happy to do both. I'm, I, as I said, I'm learning all this uh, recording content nonsense and the tech and programs required to do so as I go along here. So if you think this is better served for for this kind of content, I'd be more than happy to do this more in the future. But, uh, can't do that, or, or can't commit to anything until you guys and gals let me know which one you prefer, so. Uh, I used to, uh, I was a launch day GameCube person, so Luigi's Mansion was the first game I played, and I very much enjoyed it. So we're gonna watch Toad just slam into the gate with the bus. My gosh. Um, I very much enjoyed the original Luigi's Mansion. In fact, I the atmosphere was one of my favorite things. It wasn't spooky scary, but it was dreary scary. And I can appreciate that. Like, it was dark and Toad labor is very cheap nowadays, but the medical bills are very expensive from what I hear. And, uh, Luigi's Mansion has kind of held a place in my heart because I I don't necessarily enjoy super scary stuff, but I enjoy the dreary atmosphere, and Luigi's Mansion hit that really well. You know, dark, dusty, uh, running around, excuse me, I bumped my headset, running around a mansion, you know, with a flashlight. It, it set the atmosphere really well for my taste, so I was really excited for... Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS, and it started off really well, and I actually lost interest in it as the game went on, because instead of focusing on mansions, you started visiting other locations, which I felt didn't really uh, didn't really work well for Luigi's Mansion. I wanted to go around dark and dreary mansions, exploring and attacking ghosts. So. I have to say, from what I've seen so far, this looks a little more promising, but we'll see as we go through. They spent a lot of money to get our faces on those plates. Go talk to Mario over here. He's being the, the useless stereotype, which he has to in these games. He can't be, like, reliable, because they're Luigi's games. Mario has to be... So he's just going to go eat cake, because that's the universal sign of being unreliable, I guess. And there's presents everywhere. That can only mean one thing. It's Christmas. May not be snowing, but Merry Christmas, everyone. Got stuck back there because of perspective. Let's go chat to this guy, who is clearly very much extremely a human. Look at that human face. That is definitely a human. We're gonna walk over this way. I don't know how the toads got the luggage stacked that way. But I guess that's why their labor is cheap. I hope those uh, toad helmets are padded. Right, let's go chat with this clearly human person.
Uh, I I love to explore in these games, so you might get sick of gaming with me because I explore every nook of cran nook and cranny for fear of missing something. Um, I actually am probably more on that spectrum than most people. Like I hate being forced along certain paths and missing out on other content. I want to experience everything. Why? Why make me choose? Just let me wander and explore everywhere. And there's really, now that I've already done so and can look back, there's not really much to explore here, but, but you're stuck with me anyways. We'll go have a chat with Peach, I think is Princess Toadstool, as she wanted to be called when I was a kid. Now she goes by Peach. And if someone asks you to call them something, then you call them that, out of respect for them. Let's go chat with the clearly human person again, and check into the hotel. And we will be introduced to Rockstar Purple Lady, Helen Gravely. And I got distracted here, so we just stare at Helen for about a minute, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to go through the rest of this game this way. I probably am, because I am renting this title, and uh, so I want to get through it as quickly as possible so I can return it. But uh, again, in the comments, let me know if you appreciate this uh, format, if you would prefer I talk while I play the game, or if you like having my dulcet tones overlapping the game audio as we go through. Also, let me know if I've uh, mixed the uh, audio properly so that you can still he hear me over the game audio. I don't want to get rid of the game audio completely, but I do want it to be kind of a background to the chatting. So, there we go. The purple ghost with the slender figure comes down to introduce herself to us. Our exceptional human staff will take care of your luggage. Look how happy he is to do that. Now she's here to seduce Luigi with his allergies. I don't know how she got so much of her powder up his nose, but that was an excellent sneeze. I kind of expected them to stop the dog from going on the hell elevator there. The elevator. It's probably going to turn into a elevator. What am I saying? Nothing is going to go wrong. This will be an extremely short game. Everything will be a perfect golden tower of fun. The toads even get their own rooms. This is probably the greatest night of the toads' lives. They get their own rooms, even if it does turn into a hellscape, which of course it's not going to. The toads got their own rooms for like a couple hours. Living in the lap of luxury. You don't want to see the conditions at, at Peach's castle. They are not, not good for the toads. That's all rumors. That's just what I've heard. So we'll head into our hotel room and see what we got. What we got over here? And then, oh, that's a bathroom. Got a nice tub and shower head over there. We'll pet the doggy. Of course, always pet the doggy. I turn on the faucet here and it occurs to me that I don't think I ever turned it off. So it's still running to this day. Pet the doggy again. I was trying to turn on the shower. This is a massive toilet. Like, Luigi can't use that. Is that for, like, the lady from Resident Evil? Like, um, Luigi would just fall in. It seems uh, a little too big for him. Did they think Bowser was coming? I could see Bowser using one that big. I was trying to get the gift basket here, but I apparently just opened the drawer. The gift basket is all shiny. It makes me think I could have interacted with it, but I, I was not able to. But again, I explore everything. So I'm going to check out all of these little cabinets and 
drawers and run around and it's still Christmas. Look at all these gifts I have. What? There's another drawer to investigate. They're already giving off dust even though we're not even... Nothing's gone wrong yet. Woof is a uh, dog, ghost dog for time to rest. And we've explored everything, so let's uh, open our luggage. Ah, yes. I always pack a flashlight when I travel. Everywhere I go, the flashlight is the only thing I pack besides a change of clothes and a book to read. I never go anywhere without my flashlight. Dog jumps up to lay down with us. I'm gonna read my book for a little bit. It's very cute. And the dog's like, eh, what? Okay, I guess I'll go to sleep then. And of course, nothing goes wrong and we reach the credits. Oh no! Did something happen in this completely safe and golden mansion? It looks much darker. The balloons all have scary faces. <laughs> Ooh, there's scary things in the closets now. Take that, balloons! Go check the bathroom. There was a mouse or a rat or something. What's in the toilet? It's a hand! There's something shiny in the mirror, but I don't think we can do anything about that yet, so I, I don't worry about it. We'll head out in the hallway, go check on Peach. I'm sure Mario has already taken care of it, because he is, of course, the superior brother. But Luigi, being the good brother himself, we'll go check, just to make sure, in case his help is needed. That hallway is a lot longer than it was when we came up the elevator. And why is all of Peach's stuff down by my room? That seems... unreliable. And Mario left his suitcase in the hallway. Hello. What a slob. Mario. There's pizza on the floor. I run into this for far longer than I should have because I was convinced I could move it to get to the bathroom. But I don't think it's possible. And I get a coin. So, um, there's not really a m much to do, but as I said, I like to explore everything, so. Ooh, we got scared. Go check all the closets and cabinets and see if there's any- I would have missed that one coin. One coin could be the difference between well, whatever coins are used for in this game. I haven't really looked into any of that. I try to keep myself uh, uh, away from a lot of that content. When I was a kid, I wanted to read everything before I got into games, and now, now I try to spend more time um, finding content that excites me and surprises me. So I, I try to try... I s tend to stay away from press releases and stuff like that. Because I want to be excited about what could be in a game rather than spoiling half of it for me beforehand and then hoping that the other half surprises me. If that makes sense. We'll go check Peach's room. I didn't even knock first. That seems weird. What if she was just like showering and I just barged in. Maybe she saw a rat while she was showering. Although it kind of looks like she was at her desk when she got taken. Or the vanity, whatever. All of her stuff has been knocked off while she was maybe removing makeup or something. No, again, not really much to do. They're railroading you to get you in and out of the rooms to set up the big reveal of whatever is causing all the ruckus. So let's go interact with them. It's our purple lady rock star. 
who is clearly not evil. How could she be evil with such yellow eyes? Oh, so she's just a fangirl. Hey, King Boo! <laughs> I love this. I was locked up tight in my lab. But guess what? I got out! We don't need to expound upon that. We needed him to get out for game three, so... He did. He got out. And causing chaos. That's all the exposition we need. It's Luigi's Mansion. Oh no. They were framed for murder. Dun dun. dun. There's one more frame. I'm gonna bowl a strike in it. Run, Luigi. He's after your king booty. <laughs> uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's the content you come to watch. Well, no one really comes to watch my stuff yet. But if you continue to come and watch my stuff, that is the excellent content you will be getting. You run and are going to dive into the laundry chute, I think. Not entirely sure what that is. Some waiter for food service? Doesn't look like there's anything in it to have a dumb waiter, so it must be laundry chute. There's the title reveal with the golden mansion, and then it gets all spooky scary. And I much prefer that. As I said, I loved the atmosphere of the original, so I'm I'm cautiously optimistic that this handles that kind of atmosphere. So we're approaching the end of this video, ladies and gents. Um, as I said, I'm probably going to do one or two more of these at least. And we'll see how it, how it goes, how it's received. If Let me know again in comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It does help me figure out what content you want to see and which ones you don't. So I would appreciate that. Um, I probably, as I said, will be doing one or two more episodes. So uh, if it's something you enjoy... You know, the views let me know. Uh, take a look at the videos, watch them, watch them 50 million times. Let me know that you like them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you do not, I will see you guys in part two.